the old men's stable and Jim Daly drives. Jim Daly drives the one Baker's legacy. Two is TDF Baskin owned by Michael James Pointer with Kevin Sizer. The three horses Icy Torch owned by William Torch and Mike Wilder. Number four is Short Cousin owned by William Carruthers with Ron Steck. Five is Roughhausen owned by Enlo Atkinson with Rick Dingledine. The six, if only I could, is owned by Samuel Coven with Jody Essig. Seven, Yankee Dragon, is owned by Philip New with Darren Mauser. Eight horses, Cam Scott, owned by Scott Mars. Scott Mars in the bike. Nine is Cheryl Street's Clearwater Chip and Jeff Fout. And the ten horse is farther back. That's Matt Nettick. Owned by Kaplinger and Kaplinger with Jack Daly in the sulky. And post time is in seven minutes. You have seven minutes for the finale. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, after the conclusion of live racing tonight, still lots of simul... They're off. Baker's Legacy is out fast along the inside with Short Cousin between horses Icy Torch. Four wide, if only I could. And down along the inside is TDF Baskin as they sort themselves out around the far turn. It's Baker's Legacy who grabs the early lead. If only I could is driving up on the outside second. TDF Baskin is third. Short Cousin fourth. Followed by Icy Torch who's looking for a seat fifth and has to go on. Farther back on the outside, it's Clearwater Chip as they make their way to the head of the stretch for the first time. And if only I could, and Jody Essig, they're on top past the opening quarter in 29 seconds flat. If only I could, on top just over length, Baker's Legacy is racing in second. TDF Baskin is third. Icy Torch wound up getting parked there on the outside fourth and now gets hustled forward. Short Cousin is next along the inside fifth. Clearwater Chip driving on second over from sixth. Next up, it's Cam Scott, followed by Matt Nettick, Roughhausen, and Yankee Dragon is the trailer as they make their way around the turn to the half mile pole. They're double-deckered, five in and five out as they pass the half. And it's if only I could on top. If only I could on top through a half in 59 and 3. Heading up the backside. If only I could on top by two lengths. Icy Torch is stalled on the outside second after being hung all the way. Baker's Legacy is gapping at the inside in third. And on the outside, Clearwater Chip is racing on from fourth. Next up to the inside, it's TDF Baskin, followed on the outside by Cam Scott, Roughhausen, Short Cousin is next, and then at the tail end, it's Yankee Dragon, and Matt Nettick is last. They're at three quarters in 129 and four, and if only I could, is pr looking pretty strong in the lead, has it by three lengths. Clearwater Chip takes over second, Icy Torch to the inside is third, far outside, that's Cam Scott driving up three wide from fourth as they make their way into the stretch. It's going to be tough for them to catch, if only I could, if only I could, has cut out all the fractions, has the lead by three lengths. Icy Torch is racing second center of the course. Cam Scott is flying and soars right past the leader. It's Cam Scott coming on for the win. Cam Scott, two lengths clear of if only I could over the five Roughhausen and the two TDF Baskin. Now the 10th race is official. Exact 8-6, 253-80. Super 8-6-5 all. It was 8-6-5 all, $5,553 even. Whew. Pick three, three of three, 120 40 Back in the winner's circle, the eight, Cam Scott lights up the board. Third win of the season for this long shot winner, a seven-year-old son of Cam Fellow from Ascot, Almahurst by Nihilator. Owned, trained, and driven by Scott Marr. Two minutes and one-fifth. Race win number three on the season for Cam Scott.